And now let's take a look at the links aspect of the inspector. The first thing that I want to cover off is how you create links. We've added a new method to click and drag from button to button to create different types of links. I'm going to create a text label. If I hold down Option and I click and drag from the button, that will create a text label, a little known feature that's been in sports code for quite some time. Now if I right click and hold the right click down and drag from button 2 to button 1, that's going to create an exclusive link. Now if I just hold down Control, click and drag, which is the same as right click, that creates my exclusive link. If I want to create an activation link, I hold down Option and Control, or I hold down Option and simply right click and drag, and that creates an activation. Note the change in the activation. Activations are now solid green links. And a new type of link is a deactivation. And if I hold down Shift, I right click and drag, that creates the deactivation link. So let's take a look at how deactivation links work. I'm coding with button 1. I'm going to type in my live note. I hit return. That's been inserted. And if I click on button 002 here, it will deactivate button 001. And by doing this, it also inserts itself as a label in button 001. One more time. And click on button 002. And we've inserted the live note and the label and deactivated button 001. Deactivation links have been something we've been looking for for a long time.